Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm DJ Adam McCree of Track Camp ENT, and today we're going to be talking about something very useful. It's a kind of a pro tip, and it's called track freezing. And it doesn't just go for like FL Studio. And let me go ahead into this screen right here, so you see uh, <clears throat> what it is. Is what you're basically freezing the track or track freezing or whatever. Uh, what it basically is is when you take your MIDI note section, such as like something like this, and you know you just highlight that area <clears throat> and you bounce down the track to audio or whatever. In FL Studio, and I'm pretty sure other dolls as well, uh, you can actually bounce down numerous of numerous of MIDI notes or MIDI lines or whatever. So in in one like setting on one set or whatever. So, you know, you can actually do that and you know reason why I had to do that was because of this monster right here. And watch watch how crazy my camera gets. Watch the frame rate drop but uh yeah this monster right here yes this monster right here is serum and it's actually a great plug-in but it is very system heavy by a lot of people's standards and and then much so much so more when you actually work with it on a slower computer such as mine i only have an i5 and it's a second generation right now until i can get an i7 fifth generation but you know in between that i actually can work through that and you know certain things that you have to do but I, i'm gonna go ahead and play the track because as you see i have seven instances of it i have three open right now like that are not bounced down so you know track wouldn't even play so with that being said i'm just gonna go into screen cam and three two one i'm gonna play so three two one <laughs> I'm not gonna play all that that's actually a demo for this that i'm finishing up or one of the one of the five demo uh, tracks that i have for it and that's for uh, such a life sounds but let's go ahead and talk more so about bouncing down the track and track freezing and whatnot so you know i'm just gonna go ahead and give an overall example of how C cpu heavy it would be if i was just to lead that line if i was to lead those lines in there which i believe they're all in here together right now so i'm gonna unmute all this and i'm gonna show you how system heavy it is and watch you see that that is how system heavy that that is with me just local recording and i highly doubt it even play if i wasn't local recording so i gotta figure out which ones i had mute because it's still a recent project so i'm gonna save so with that being said i had to do track freezing and uh, now let's talk about actually doing it. So I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna delete the, the tracks I already have because I, I have plenty of hard drive space. What I don't have is a lot of RAM. So with that being said, I'm gonna unmute this. So the first, um, the most important thing when you do this uh, with track freezing, you gotta make sure that you're highlighting what you're, that you're in the playlist in FL Studio. But this is for like FL Studio users, you know, cause every other DAW has, you know, you're immediately in the in the playlist. That's like the, all, all their advantages. So, but anyways, you can, you know, you have to highlight it, which is control, left click, and then, you know, drag until you're at the destination that you want to be. And then, you know, you gotta make sure that all these are unmuted. And the, th uh, the third most important thing, you have to route each and every one of these uh, these files into a MIDI folder. I mean, not into, wow, into an insert, an, uh, insert mixer channel, which is this right here. So, you know, as you can see, as, as it blares and blasts through. Uh, yeah, so with that not being possible there, uh, you know, I have it routed, you know, once again, and what I mean by routed is it usually be, it'll usually be like this, but you know, you can set it to one, two, three, four, and this is FL studio 
12.1.3. Yeah, I still haven't even put my moved it up to 12.2. I'm just lazy. But going from there, you just do this. If you know, if you're in a, another version of FL Studio, you can actually, you know, uh, root your tracks this way. You know, it says assign the free mixer track. You just assign it to the free mixer track if you have to. And you know, just go back. I'm gonna go back to this lumpy GUI. <laughs> it's beautiful, but CPU heavy GUI here of Serum. And I'm gonna go and I'm going to highlight the tracks that I want to record. So I want the ARPs. And the bells. Here's another hot tip: if you've already mixed down, uh, mixed down a little bit or whatever, make sure that you hit these buttons right here, so that you do not add the effects because you want it to be dry. You want your it to be dry. It doesn't matter if you know if it, if you have a turn down or whatever, because you may not want it at that certain volume. But you know, make sure that you know certain things like the bell being uh, <clears throat> the like anything that's like pan or something like that. Unless you really want the pan to be in there, then no, don't do that. But yeah, make sure that everything's off if you if you are using the master or whatever, and you know all your all your effects in your ch channels that you're trying to record or uh, trying to bounce down. So next thing you want to do is just go right here to this this uh, down arrow and go to disc recording and then render to wave. From there, make sure that it's on cut remainder unless you really want the remainder of like the effect or whatever that is processed within the actual plugin or whatever you're trying to bounce down or uh, wrap remainder. I usually use cut remainder because I just want it to be on point and stop. <clears throat> and you know, you can select either start or background rendering and do 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 wow it is taking a sweet time so yeah while we're sitting here and waiting yeah i have a lot of my my desktop is pretty messy isn't it yeah lots of interesting stuff on here yeah but oh, I guess I could do a little short plug here once again. Uh, this is out. I have a drum kit as well <laughs> that comes with the uh, the other one. Ah, we're back. So after that small commercial break there <laughs> and producer bed talk, we're back. So you know I'm closing everything because you know FL Studio likes to open everything up. And now here's the here's the, uh, something that you have to take heed for, and also you know make sure you turn everything back on you know if you have your effects because I already have my master channel set for war, and you know we you, now you see it's right it's back there you see it the effects arp and bell, you know, and then set it set it back to where they go, and you know you can actually see it over here. And art is in two, and the bell is in three. And what do we have? Whoa, oops, oh, I forgot one thing quite flawed. Am I? Uh, yeah, so make sure that you mute everything back again. And you can save, you can save your patches just in case you really want to, you really care about that. I usually, some what I usually do is I just replace with none. So if I'm collabing with somebody and they still want to use that line, they still had that line. So yeah, which doesn't happen often. So as you can see, now is back. You can hear everything. It is not. And it's back, and every you can hear everything, and you know you just check and see if you have everything. So I have everything in a in its proper area there, you know. And once again, you know, that's basically basically about it. You're set to go. That's as simple as it is to actually bounce something down, you know, and freeze a track or whatnot. And it works very well, you know. And it, you know the 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 true advantages of that is that once again you save CPU and 
you know, even if you can spare it, you know, that's very, it's still good to kind of work with audio in most cases, uh, to keeping it, keeping the channel signal, the mono as as possible, keeping all the melodic tones in the middle. Hey, then you could, you know, then you could add your effects as, as you go. So, but anyways, yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, if you have any comments, please leave a comment. If you have any questions about track freezing and you just didn't feel like watching the video, ask. <laughs> obviously you did watch it if you got to this point but anyways i thank everybody for their time appreciate y'all once again check it out you know just for those who might have that issue check out sachi boy uh damn sachi life sounds at djmccree.net backslash store over 70 presets there are two different versions of it there's one with the drum kit as well check it out I'm DJ Adam McCree, and I am out. Thank you. Have a nice day.